Hey guys, what's going on? Daily Tactics here, and I just wanted to let you know real quick that I have a second gaming channel that I have started. It's called Daily Productions. I'm uploading sort of random games like Ravenfield, Rise of Liberty, Ancient Warfare 3, Tabs, Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator, little side projects that I didn't feel like fit Daily Tactics too much. Uh, so please, I would love it if you'd take a second out of your day to go check it out, maybe subscribe, maybe watch a video too. If you enjoy my content here, you'll likely enjoy it there, um, but don't worry, it will not be taking away from daily tactics content. This will remain my main priority. Either way, guys, enjoy the following video, and I hope to see you on Daily Productions. Peace. Hey, what's up, you bad Larrys? It's your boy, Daily Tactics here, and we are back with some more Men of War Assault Squad 2, the Star Wars Galaxy at War mod. Today, we're going to be doing another one of these all-clone commanders battles because uh, you guys seem to really enjoy those, and they're highly requested on the channel, so I thought, why not? So, essentially, what's happening here is Count Dooku, along with the blood droid force of battle droids, which is a very, very uh, prestigious and um, well-renowned battle droid legion and that's because it's covered in blood from all its enemies and and gritty things like that you know a real cool legion um they are going to be ambushing all clone commanders here so i guess the clone commanders were like hey let's have a parade with our various legions <laughs> and and uh, word got out to count dooku i don't know that's a flimsy lore to this battle but it's what i got um so the first clone here with his wolf pack is commander wolf very nice. The second one is uh, Commander Tethos with the 187th Purple Clone Trooper Legion. Then I, I had to double up and triple up sometimes with some of the, the clones. But then we got um, Bakara, Commander Devil, and Neo here with uh, some Clone Trooper Marines. Then we have, uh, and these are split into two groups here, the 327th Legion with Commander Bly here. And uh, Commander Miles, or Millis, depends on how you pronounce it. I still haven't figured it out. Um, over here. Then, behind him, we got um, Commander Keller, Commander Gree, and uh, Commander Devil. Wait, did we already do Devil? Wait, what? No! Ah! Okay, goodbye, this Commander Devil. <laughs> that was real dumb of me. Um, and then these are just clone sergeants in the middle here. Um... So we got these two with the 442nd Clone Trooper Siege Battalion here, which are very cool green colored. Uh, then we got the 501st, and of course there's a plethora of 501st leaders. We have Hawk here, Arc Trooper Echo, or sorry, Arc Trooper 5s, Arc Trooper Echo, Apo, um... Oh god. I don't remember. Uh, and Captain Rex here. Hey, maybe we can find out later. Uh, if we click on him? Alright, I don't know who that is, but he's a dude. Uh, <laughs> then, with the uh, 7th Sky Corps, we got Commander Cody. Back here with the 65th Legion, another large amount of troopers. We got Hound, Axe, Thire. No, this is Thire. This is Fox. This is Acklay, I think? So yeah, 65th Corps on guard with them. So, the, uh, the droids surround them. They're going to be attacking. The clones got to defend and uh, do their thing, and we'll see which clone commanders managed to survive, or if any of them survive, for that matter. So, without further ado, I'll be right back and we'll get this started. Hey guys, just as an FYI before this battle starts, I decided to give the clones a TX-130 T-Tank and the droids two anti-tank turrets, uh, just to spice things up a little bit, make it a little bit more interesting. I also gave the droids a few bazooka troopers, maybe like six of them, seven, eight, across the map, something like that. Either way, we're ready to get this started. Let's go in slow-mo here for the first bit, because ambush battles, it's very difficult to see what's happening all in the very beginning, and so the droids begin shooting in mass towards the clone troopers. The clone troopers, you know, sort of taking a second to be like, oh god, things are happening. Commander Wolf already going down, actually. Um, that's a shame. I mean, I guess that's sort of the cost of being in the very, very front of the battlefield. The anti-tank turret is actually just firing at a group of the 104th Battalion clone troopers here, not even at that tank. That's a dang shame. But Tethos is behind him with the 187th uh, Legion, you know, helping out, helping the 104th, trying their best to, uh, to take those turrets out. There's Bakara right there. It's pure chaos amongst the clone troopers right now. There's Devil standing up bravely with his DC-15C firing away. Um, there's Neo right next to him. Some of the Galactic Marine uh, leaders. Bakara laying on the ground here with some of the purple boys. Um, 
The tank itself is doing quite well. It's actually firing quite a bit at that anti-tank turret. There's Millis right there. Miles Millis. I never know. Um, and Bly is... Is Bly still alive? Not see. Oh, there's Bly right there. Sweet. Going a little bit further back here, uh, the Green Boys, the 442nd Siege Battalion. They're still kicking. Um, Keller, I don't see where... Oh, there's Keller. There's Keller and Bree, both over here off to the side, attacking. Captain Rex himself starting to mount up this hill, trying to go after some of these blood droid units over here. Um, Keller is backing him up over there, too. Over this way, we got Commander Cody. Good to see him still alive. You guys know he is my favorite clone commander. Um, and he is taking on some of these battle droids over this way. There's so many 501st leaders and uh, 65th course on guard leaders that it's going to be tough to find all of them in this battle. I believe that's Ackley right there. There's Fox. There's Axe. There's Thyre. So we found most of them. Let's go back over to the front lines over here. It seems like the first three or so uh, clone trooper legions really got butchered here. But we also are seeing Count Dooku down for the count right now. Okay, so that's pretty huge to see the old count going down. The droids seem to be having a lot of trouble with this tank as it's uh, causing explosions all across the way, um, targeting these battle droids. These battle droids over here in the back bits seem to have been really crushed pretty bad. They're going down heartily. Captain Rex up here with his pistol shooting at this battle droid, getting some good hits on it, and uh, the battle droid's ducking away from grenades. And it goes down. Nice job, Captain Rex and uh, Commander Keller right there. Very nice. Are these anti-tank uh, guns still down? Yep, they are. Actually, we could probably recrew this one fairly easily. That's a new rule we're sort of starting to instigate in the videos is if it seems fair, we will recrew anti-tank um, turrets because that's something that's always highly, highly requested. Either way, the droids seem to be doing far, far better in the front here than in the back. In fact, in the back, they've only got, like seven or eight more troopers left alive and all of which are behind this hill here and the clones don't seem to be targeting them too much or at least you know charging them they're mainly just trying to shoot them from a bit of a distance um the droids in the front here have a bit better cover i think and they're also in a bit bigger of a mass so they're they're getting a lot of shots down onto these clone troopers this tank still alive and kicking needs to be taken out let's see if this anti-tank gun Dude, you're supposed to be targeting the tanks. Like, that's the whole reason you're on in this battle, like, is to target tanks. Target the tank. Oh, tree going down. I could hit the tank. No, it, it's a little too to the left. Um, that's, uh, that would have been cool if it if it had hit the tank and made it blow up. That would have been neat. Um, <laughs> either way, lots of droids still on these rocks over here, actually. There we go. This thing's finally shooting at the tank. Didn't do a ton of damage. These things have pretty good armor, though it is on fire now. Clones uh, from the 327 Starport behind, getting behind some nice cover on these little rock ledges here. That's very, very good for them. Um, and they seem to be mass targeting the anti-tank turret, and they did finally take it out. There you go. That thing is down for the count now. Um, let's go into normal speed, I guess, now, because the battle has progressed a little bit further here. Um, and we'll see that the droids are sort of just chilling, taking cover, firing from a bit more of a distance now as the clones have a better foothold and a better understanding of sort of what's happening. Commander Cody actually leaping up over the, um, the hill here and, uh, targeting some of these battle droids. Brave commander. Good commander. There we go. He, he killed uh, one of the bazooka troopers right there and uh, another machine gunner. And so these droids over here are wiped out thanks to Commander Cody. Commander Fire coming in after the fact to, to try and help out. Here's uh, It's like a meeting of commanders over here. We've got Hound, Fox, Ackley, um, Cody over there. Oh, there's uh, Fives or, or Echo. Does he have a handprint? If it's a, he's got the handprint. It's Echo. If he doesn't, it's uh, fives. All right, yeah, droids are starting to really take a beating now. This thing is still alive. Sheesh, Louise. All right, well, clones can uh, can keep rolling with that. There's a whole like squad of droids just beyond this hill over here who refuse to come forward and help the rest of their battle droids. We're just gonna leave them alone though. These battle droids up here still firing away at the clone commanders though. Over on this side, we've got Keller and uh, some random clone sergeant right there, and another random clone over here. Um, these guys cresting over this hill, they're firing at dead droids over there. It's one of the most annoying things to me that the AI does is shoot at dead droids. Um, that is, that might be Apo? That is Apo right there. 
And uh, that is... That's Echo. It's got the handprint. That's Echo. And uh, Echo sallying forth quite a bit here. Ooh, and that's Captain Rex also crawling forward, trying to get closer to these droids. They're finally sort of making it past the tank once again. You know, sort of before this, the... Um, the tank, anything in front of the tank was basically a danger zone, but now the, the clone commanders seem to be trying to lead by example and coming forward here. We have this clone who I totally don't know who it was again. Um, he's got some weird thing on his back, though. I still don't know who that is. Uh, then I believe this is Fives, because we saw Echo earlier. There's Bly, there's Hawk, there's Axe, um, Fire right there, maybe. Kind of hard to tell in the midst of battle. Uh, and the droids are getting pushed further and further back as the clones begin to advance forward, which is a dang shame for the uh, the battle droids in Count Dooku as this ambush is looking to be a bit of a disaster. I mean, the droids do still have some hope here. They've got um, some units. They've got them pretty much scattered in like a U formation around here. And then they've got a lot over here, which are just now actually beginning to be attacked a bit more in force. Um, we see some clones have tried to take them on over here. Hound! Uh, that's either Fire fire or Ackley and Cody all down. Fox is down too for the count. So uh, lots of clone commanders trying to attack these droids over here and getting gunned down um, in the process. More regular standard clone troopers also getting gunned down up here. These droids apparently chilling in that little uh, divot in the hill turned out to be a great plan for them, even though I criticized it earlier. But now the clones are really fully attacking them over here and uh, committing larger forces to this assault. So uh, we're seeing more of the droids begin to go down, and I don't think they're really long for this battle. And there we go. Oh, ooh, there's a bazooka droid. No, he's dead. All right, <laughs> this tank is still alive. He's running over all the dead commanders, so their bodies are disappearing. Um, all right, the clones still sallying forth here. Um, there are still droids left alive. We see one here, here. Um, <laughs> oh my god, the second they fire, it's like a storm of bullets. The clones are pissed now that their uh, their commander brothers died at the hands of uh, of these blood droids. So now they're just they're just going full on at it here. This guy with the bazooka should probably take it out and try and fire a bazooka shot, but instead he's using his pistol instead. I can't say that was a brilliant idea, but he did it. Uh, here's Captain Rex coming very very far forward. Don't die, Rex. You're a fan favorite, dude. Don't throw it. <laughs> Uh, here's, uh, Fives and Echo actually together right there. Oh yeah, look at these clone. I love seeing, like, the various clone colors sort of coming together, um, in one battle. I, I think it looks cool, you know. It's visually and aesthetically pleasing, I guess. Um, still a few machine gunner droids up here amongst the rocks and, and things like that, but I, I think it's safe to say, for the most part, that this, um, this droid ambush on the clone commanders did end up failing. But we'll see if any more clone commanders do end up biting the dust, because I suppose that could be the end goal of this battle for the battle droids, was to kill as many clone commanders as possible, um, and not necessarily achieve victory, but rather, you know, cripple the chain of command here, because they have gotten quite a number of clone commander kills. Here's um, Axe, Fives, and Echo. Either Fives or Echo goes down, I can't tell. And there's Captain Rex there, too. Oh my god. What are these clone commanders doing? Axe goes down, so yes, more com clone commanders going down before the end of this battle here. Um, and more regular clones going down as well. Oh, and there goes uh, either our, our Arc Trooper Echo or Fives. Both Arc Trooper Echo and Fives are down, that's for sure. We just don't know which was which. And is that it? That is the end of the battle there. So, lots of clone commanders ended <laughs> up going down during this battle. So, yellow are the clone losses, and they took quite a, quite a number. Remember that a lot of the bodies, I mean, you can see all the helmets and the guns over here, but the ta the stupid tank had to roll them all over, so lots of the bodies are gone, along with a lot of droid bodies over here, so, and a bunch of clone bodies in this area, too, I think, so probably double the losses for both sides because of this stupid tank. Um, but we can see there was a lot of losses all around. Um, I'm curious if we can see which clone commanders are sort of living. We saw a lot of them go down. Um, this is just a horde of standard clone units, I believe. I'm not seeing any clone trooper commanders. There's Gree right there. He's an easy one to spot. Um, there's Captain Rex right there. There's Hawk. Yeah. Um, standard, 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 standard. 
I feel like we saw Bly up here somewhere. Yeah, there's Bly right there. Okay. How about over here? That's a sergeant. Um. Yeah, okay, so... I would definitely say... There's Apo. Okay. Definitely say the vast majority of clone commanders ended up going down during this battle. Um, but still, they were brave. They fought valiantly. Um, it's a shame. It's a dang shame. Either way, guys, thanks so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. Comment and subscribe if you did, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.